This is the DIY Magician with another discount tool review. This time we are going to do a head-to-head. -head. That's right, the 99 cent only ball pump and the Dollar Tree ball pump. Which one will be better? Alright, here we go. I'm going to start with the 99 cent store only, only because it is larger. It is a larger ball pump. It actually has a little packaging that you can uh, put the pump back in. It is apparently plastic. I don't think this is metal. It's a thin plastic. Uh, it has a metal bar right there for the pump part. Can you hear that? It's working. So it is a longer item, okay? So it's got a little molded T-grip there, and that's what it looks like fully extended. It also comes with the ball uh, attachment. Uh, you can thread it in there. Let's see here. I don't know if that's metal. Eh, that might be metal. But it threads in, and it just so happens I have a deflated basketball. Not necessarily completely but it gives you an idea of what we need to do. So, uh, right there, okay. So there's the little deal there. We're gonna try and inflate this basketball just like that. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, here's going inside. I can hear it. Okay, all right. It's working, it's the little leakage but I think it's going to work. No, maybe not. I haven't done these in a while. Okay. Probably should have put a little moisture on it to give it a good seal. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's completely uh, inflating it. Uh, let me double check here, maybe, oh, this is possibly what it is. The little needle was not completely inserted there. Okay, let's be fair to the 99 cent only people. And let's try it again this time. That's what it was. This time we're going to give it a better seal because the air is not leaving where the needle is threaded in. Okay, it's getting there. Okay. See, this might do it. Yep. You know what? This works just fine. Just fine for a dollar. In fact, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the needle portion. Well, maybe I'll just take it out and do that. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have done it that way. We're going to take the needle out and we're going to deflate the ball while we're talking about the other or getting at least uh, ready for the other one. There it is. Deflates just as well as it inflates. Okay. So again, it has this little hose attachment here. The hose attachment comes off. Uh, and it looks like you might be able to... I probably wouldn't do it. It probably is pressed on, so I think it's a one-time shot. Okay, so there is the ball. Okay, so let's get that off of there. And assemble this. Uh, let's just do this. Let's put it back in its bag. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Maybe not. Anyways, uh, so that's the 99 cent only pump. Now we get to look at the Dollar Tree pump. Now this Dollar Tree pump, as you can see, is a bit smaller, okay? I don't think that's gonna be a problem. In fact, I would not be surprised, though no, it is a little different shape there. I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if it came from the same factory. Uh, in fact, uh, well, maybe not. Here's some interesting information. The needle really doesn't matter much. It's all metal, but what's interesting is the hose has plastic fittings on the Dollar Tree, and it has brass fittings on the 99 cent store version. So that's a big difference right there. The needles are pretty much the same. In fact, those might be the same factory, and I don't know why the hose, the hose looks the same. 
They just might have gotten a better uh, deal on the 99 cent version, but let's try it anyway. Let's get this needle on there and let's try and inflate the Dollar Tree pump version here. Hold on a second. You got to be very careful. Well, it looks like we might have problems because there are, are well, plastic threads and metal fitting sometimes will damage the plastic threads. So right now I'm not sure. Uh, it pumps the same. It has the same uh, metal handle with a T-bar on it. Okay. Let's see here. Find that uh, needle spot again. There it is. Okay. We're going to try it again. Ooh. This one's a little harder to pump. It's doing the job, but it's not very smooth. Not very smooth. So I'm guessing if you were in a pinch, either one would work. But if you were to want to keep it for a longer period of time, I would probably go with the 99 cent store version because you have the, the metal or brass or whatever uh, threading on the fixture. Eventually this plastic is going to break and there it goes. I think we've got it and it's not as good as it was with the 99 cent only store. Uh, the tube is, um, it's just, it's, it's similar but I think you're better off even though it's a little longer. Um, I think you're better off with the 99 cent only version. But then again, in a pinch it doesn't matter. But there they are, the two ball pumps, the 99 cent only store and the Dollar Tree head to head on the DIY Magician Discount Tool Review. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video from the DIY Magician, you also might enjoy joining our Facebook group. That's right, the DIY Magician Facebook group. Or you can visit our artist page, that's right, the DIY Magician artist page on Facebook. Or if you want to, please subscribe to YouTube videos and you'll see all the up-to-date videos as they come along. Thank you again for watching the DIY Magician video.